Hello everyone, I am your professor Shweta Dubey from CK Thakur College of Arts, Science and Commerce. I am going to uh, introduce you to the topic of brand management and the first thing that we are going to understand is what exactly is brand and how does a how does brand management process works. Okay, so let's move on. What are the topics that we are going to cover in this? Firstly, we'll try to understand what a brand stands for. What is the difference between a brand and a product? Then we are going to understand what is the importance of brand, both to the consumers as well as to the marketers. Thereafter, we'll try to understand what is a brand. Now let's begin. Now, what can be a brand? When you go outside, okay, so you try to see so many things. For example, you're looking at uh, when you're going to a McDonald's, okay, the very identification that you want to eat a burger. So the first thing that comes to your mind is either a McDonald's or a Burger King. Aapko chicken khana hai. So the thing that comes to your mind is let's go to KFC. Okay, so there is a certain identity that has been created by McDonald's or KFC for you in the terms of the name. Okay, when you look at the uh, when you look at the uh, Ronald McDonald and all sitting on a bench, okay, you realize that okay, we are talking about McDonald's over here. This is the person who is the actual uh, who is the representative of uh, McDonald's. Okay, so that is the mascot, and then when you look at the curved M. Okay, that is also an identification of McDonald's. So what are all these things that we are talking about? The color combination of red, yellow and white, the uh, the curved M that I'm talking about, the name itself that I'm talking about or the person who is sitting on the bench. All these are brand elements. Okay, these are all a combination through which the entire brand is being created. So what can be a brand if you look into essence? A brand can either be a name, it can be a term, it can be a symbol, it can be a sign or it can be a combination of all these things brought together. Okay, so uh, what happens when you design an identity for your brand? It makes you different from the rest. So you can clearly distinguish between what a McDonald's stands for and how uh, how, how a Burger King brand is. Okay, you can differentiate between both of them. What is the reason? You get to know that when we are, when we are having a crown, Okay, so then we are talking about Burger King. When we are having a kernel, we are talking about KFC. When we are having a curved M, when we are having that red and yellow combination, red, yellow, white combination. So we are talking about a McDonald's. When we are looking at Ronald McDonald sitting on the bench, we are talking about McDonald's, right? So this is how the product is able to differentiate itself from the rest. Okay, so what is a brand? Any name, term, symbol, sign, emblem, anything or a combination of all these things which have been created by the marketer so that you can distinguish it from the rest. Okay, that is how a brand is being uh, defined. Now, once we have understood what a brand stands for, let's go for what brand management is. The entire process of creating right from ideation to the time it has been brought into existence. All these are all these are included into the process of brand management. So brand management is analyzing and planning on how a brand can be perceived by a customer in the market. Market mein kisi product ka presence kaisa rahega, uska identification kaisa rahega, wo sari cheeze brand management now, there are both aspects. There is a tangible aspect and there is an intangible aspect. When we are talking about a tangible aspect, it means that the things which can be seen, which can be uh, understood by the uh, customer. And when we are talking about intangible aspects, it means that the customer is feeling, is generating a feeling about it. Okay, so what are the tangible elements which are included in brand management? Firstly, you can talk about the product itself. The product is coming the second thing is the way that it has been presented in front of you, the look of the product. Then we can talk about the price of the product. So, for example, if a product uh, is being uh, presented to you, uh, for example, a big bazaar, is se sasta or is se acha kahi nahi. So, jab aap ye sunte hai, to aapko pata chal jata ki, okay, we are talking about big bazaar. Big bazaar is a brand which represents the middle class of the country. Okay, it is a brand which is economical in nature. Ye aapko sabse best deals provide karke de rahe. McDonald's ka happy price menu. Happy price menu bhi aapko wahi batata hai ki, haan, ye aap is, is price mein aapko kahi aur burger or fries or coke nahi milega. Thik hai, to ye hai 
टैंजिबल एस्पेक्ट्स अब हम आते हैं इन टैंजिबल एस्पेक्ट्स की तरफ इन टैंजिबल एलिमेंट्स विल इंक्लूड द एक्सपीरियंस दैट यू गेन आउट ऑफ इट सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम हैविंग लेट्स कम बैक टू आवर ओरिजिनल एंड द ओनली वन एग्जांपल दैट इज मैकडॉनल्ड्स सो अगर आप मैकडॉनल्ड्स खाते हैं तो यू फील सेटिस्फाइड यू फील हैप्पी यू फील कंटेंट यू फील वेरी यू नो यू हैव अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस सो दैट इज व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इन टैंजिबल ओके सो द एक्सपीरियंस दैट यू गेन आउट ऑफ इट द सेकंड थिंग इज द रिलेशनशिप दैट इज बीइंग डेवलप्ड between you and the uh, marketer that also represents the intangible experience out of it so जैसे हम अगर कोई आईफोन अगर हम आईफोन लेते हैं ठीक है तो आपके आपके जहन में एक प्राइड सा आ जाता है यू फील प्राउड दैट यस यू आर द ओनर ऑफ एन आईफोन ओके सो दैट इज द रिलेशन सेकेंडली सपोज इफ यू आर बाइंग समथिंग सो यू नो दैट यू आर द लीडिंग पाइनियर्स इन द फील्ड राइट नाउ सो दैट ऑल्सो शोज कि वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एप्पल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इनोवेशन वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वन प्लस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पीड वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सैमसंग वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कन्वीनियंस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कंपैटेबिलिटी right so all these things represent the intangible aspects of a brand coming to the next aspect the difference between what a brand is and what a product is so when we differentiate firstly a product is uh something that is offered to the market where in you are you are making a basic product you are adding certain features to it and you are giving it for consumption to the customer aap unka you are trying to grab the attention of the customer okay and then you are uh, acquiring that product you are selling it to the customer and they are buying it they are consum- consuming it that is what a product is representative of what does brand do ye jo basic product banaya gaya hai you are going to make it special how you're going to add certain features to it okay you're going to give it a personality and you are going to ensure that this personality is what the customer will remember about you okay so uh, a brand is going to add dimensions to the product so that you can differentiate it okay now what does a product do the product is going to focus on customer needs before we go for what is needs firstly let's understand what is needs wants and demands when we are talking about needs it means that it is my very basic need anything that i want works for me so for example if i'm hungry okay so anything works for me you give me a khichdi or you give me a dal rice it's perfectly okay with me because i'm hungry it is my need i will have it but then comes want when there is a option that you create for example i w- i am hungry i want to eat but i want only pizza so that is a want that you are creating okay so this is the difference between need and want need is the very basic thing anything works for you that is what the product provides you okay now coming to brand brand is essential to accomplish your wants aapke jo wants hai na usko fulfill karne ke liye brand create kiya jata hai okay so product focuses on customer needs whereas brand focuses on customer wants wherein there is a choice for you a product can be easily copied it can be easily easily duplicated but a brand cannot be copied or duplicated it has a very distinct identity of itself a uh, product will do the job of performing the function for the purpose with which it was built that is what it will do nothing else but a brand will ensure that it is giving you something more it will give you some value so when you are using a particular product there is a certain value which is associated with it for example i told you a few minutes earlier that when we are talking about innovation we are talking about uh, one plus when we are talking about sp- uh, sorry when we are talking about uh, speed we are talking about one plus when we are talking about innovation we are talking about an iphone okay when we are talking about convenience i'm talking about samsung so these are just examples that can demonstrate that there is a certain value which is being added and that value is what makes the brand unique it makes it creates an identity it becomes relatable to the customer through these values only okay now we come to the next aspect that uh, what does a brand do it is something that is being created by the company and it is going to be purchased by a customer branding allows you to gain the purpose of why exactly the customer is purchasing it okay so brand jo hai it is being built by certain experiences it is being built by certain value creation by the company it is uh, 
इट इज क्रिएटेड फॉर द रीजन ऑफ क्रिएटिंग एक्सपेक्टेशन फॉर द कस्टमर उनका एक्सपेक्टेशन क्रिएट होना चाहिए तब जाके वो आपके साथ रिलेट कर पाएंगे दे विल बी एबल टू क्रिएट अ फीलिंग ऑफ वननेस विथ यू थ्रू दी एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस दैट दे गेन फ्रॉम यू ओके सो द प्रोडक्ट विल डू द जॉब ऑफ जॉब ऑफ जस्ट बींग सोल्ड टू द कस्टमर एंड द कस्टमर कैन कंज्यूम इट वेर एज ब्रांडिंग इज बिल्ड थ्रू द कंज्यूमर इंटरेक्शन एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड एक्सपेक्टेशन नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन वॉट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ब्रांड टू कंज्यूमर्स फर्स्टली you gain a lot of information about the manufacturer as well as the product when you read about the uh, read about the product uh, on the packaging let's say whatever you are learning about the company about the product is through the brand name that has been created okay secondly a branded product gives you a surety that okay this is something which is there in the market it has a good reputation it is something that i can use it is something that i can relate to then comes the next part that your buying decisions are simplified you know that i can trust this brand and it's it's very easy for you to make a decision to buy a product coming to the next one you will be able to create a you uh, you will be able to create a relation with your customer since uh, you are well aware of the product you are well informed about it you feel a certain level of uh, association with the product and the brand that is why you will be able to uh, you know make quicker buying decisions you will be able to create a relationship with the customer through it then comes the next one uh, a branded product is a representative a branded product is a representative of the um uh, of the uh, image that you are trying to create okay so it is a projection of your own self image next is it represents the quality of product a branded product will never have a low quality this is what we assume and this is what is proven majority of the times as you can see in the real world okay and the final one is that it reduces the risk you know that you are making a short sure shot bet when you are uh, buying a buying a branded product so this is the importance of brand to the consumers we'll move on to the importance of brand to the organization in the next video thank you